guys, Anthony Rose. Today we're going to be covering the nightclub two-step. So not country two-step, but nightclub two-step. Completely different dance, just kind of sounds the same. So nightclub two-step is a smooth dance. So it's in the same category as waltz or foxtrot or tango. And so it's in that smooth category where two-step, we classify that as a rhythm dance. So I'm, I'm going to show you the basic step and then we'll kind of break that down. So it's going to be slow, quick, quick, slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick all right so nightclub two-step came from um so it's kind of like slow dancing if you were in the clubs and and you're here and there's a slow song and you're just kind of swaying back and forth and all that stuff it came from that but as opposed to just winging it and swaying back and forth it has that feel of a slow dance however there's some amount of uh, pattern structure and everything to it so it kind of fills a gap that nothing else fills so like if you're at the country bar or just at dancing at a wedding or something like that uh, nightclub two-step fills that space where somebody would just high school hug and rock it kind of fills that gap okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to break down the leader's footwork and then we're going to break down the followers footwork which is just exactly the opposite so i'm going to turn around and face this direction so unlike a lot of the other dances nightclub two-step actually starts with the leader starting on the right foot instead of the left foot and we'll talk about why that is in just a second but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to step to the side for slow then we're going to bring that foot together and for those of you who know what i'm talking about that's a third position and then we step forward and across that's quick quick so then we're going to step slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick okay so if we watch rose's footwork with me hers is exactly the opposite this is a follower's footwork she's going to step to the side for slow together forward and across slow quick quick slow quick quick slow and quick quick okay so there's several things that we have to talk about with this pattern first of all being that it's a smooth dance and not a rhythm dance the way that i define rhythm versus smooth is that rhythm dances are dances like polka or east coast swing west coast swing or like cha-cha salsa rumba those dances would be rhythm dances your body moves very similar in the rhythm dances and also moves very similar in a different way in the smooth dances okay so the first thing i was saying a smooth dance versus rhythm dance and probably the biggest key factors a lot of things that people say but the only one that is always the same is do i step with the foot or do I step from the foot? All right, let me explain to you what that means. When we walk naturally, what happens is, is if I'm standing here and I put my foot out in front of me, my foot lands on the ground and then I take my body over top. That is the way that we'll move in a smooth dance. However, in a rhythm dance, my body is the first thing that goes and my foot snaps into place. So it's kind of like I'm stepping from the foot in a rhythm dance. From the foot means if I step to the side, I'm stepping from my left foot. Where in a smooth dance, we step with the right. So the right foot is the first part that goes as opposed to pushing from that foot. So this is gonna be a thing that in nightclub two-step, people mess up a lot and they kind of get stuck on that in that they step and they're there immediately. All right, so what we're actually going to try to do is we're going to get into our dance position. When we step, we're actually going to reach that foot out first. All right, so the foot finds its spot. My body is still here. You can call this sway to where there's a little bit of line. So it's kind of like I'm here. My body creates a shape. My foot finds its spot and that's slow. And then I develop onto that, meaning that I'm not going to hit that spot and be there with my body instantly. All right, so we call that popping the slow. So if I'm here and if I step to the side and I'm here immediately, I have nowhere else I can go. But however, if I get there for slow, now I've got this little bit of motion that I can still give. So there's a difference between staccato and legato. Staccato means crisp and sharp. So for those of you who do ballroom dancing, tango is very staccato, it's very sharp. Chacha would be very staccato legato will be like a waltz where everything's just flowing and everything is smooth and soft you can use this like um as if you were a musician right uh, if i were to hit the keys of a piano bop 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 that would be a staccato note where if i were to hit them slow and let them ring out and softly go from one thing to the next that would be legato we want everything in nightclub two-step to be legato 
right? So when I step to the side, I am gonna keep my body more or less here and I'm gonna reach that foot first. This is slow. Now, if you notice at this point, I am split weight, which means my center is in between my two feet. I'm not committed to that weight yet. So it's kind of a developing slow, so it's so low. So I would go so low, yeah? So if you watch us do that together, when I step to the side, I'm gonna reach that foot first, so low, and I still have somewhere that I can go to. We actually don't get our body fully centered on that step until the feet come together. So again, if we're trying to create a legato movement, we don't wanna keep that foot here and then quick. We want to develop that foot also, so everything is gradually in motion. So if you notice that foot, when it's coming together, is also kind of gliding. There's no really beginning or end. It just kind of flows from one thing to the next. All right, so this is one of the few times we're going to intentionally be split weight. So when we step to the side, we're not going to be fully committed to that spot yet for so low. Then our feet come together, all right? If you watch my feet from this position, when I step to the side, I'm here. This is sa, uh, and when I bring that foot in, it's sa uh, low ant. This is called third position. Third position is heel to end step. So we don't want to be together, and we do not, regardless of what anybody else tells you, you do not do any rock steps in country nightclub two step. Okay, there's another version of nightclub two step that kind of has this bounce that it has a rock step. Completely different dance. Okay, so no, that can be confusing. But when we step to the side, we're going to go slow and then we're gonna pull that foot into third position. That means if I go to my right side, my right heel, and my left instep, it's the instep of that foot. Then we're gonna turn our body just a little bit so that we can actually step forward and across quick, quick. We don't want this twisty turning, we wanna to turn too much, but we wanna go slow, quick, quick. From there, we're going to kind of start to turn our, towards our partner as we bring the feet together and we repeat that process as we step so low, quick, quick, all right? So we don't really want a beginning or an end. We want everything to seem like it's in motion all the time. So we'll go so low, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now notice the upper body is still in motion through that slow. Nice, okay. So if you get anything from this, just try not to make it choppy where it moves from one side to the next. It's kind of like it's here, it's in motion, and it's still in motion as I'm moving. So you have this constant, there's a sway, and then the body's still getting to that spot as I move across, slow, quick. So if you watch that really slowly, you'll have slow, quick. All right, now one reason why in this particular dance we like the leaders to start with the right foot and the followers to start with the left, which is backwards for most dances, is that a lot of the patterns if you notice with a partner, if you try this the first time, this side of the body is usually pretty comfortable to step across here. But when I get to the other side, this right here can be awkward stepping across there. So we usually start on this side with the guys going to the right because we can get into a comfortable position and from there we can open her up and do a lot of the other patterns um, from that side. Okay, so this would be more of a promenade position. So if I try this from this position, promenade is pretty comfortable to move that foot and through and pack. But because of my left hand, her right hand being up, when we go to this other side, this counter promenade is kind of awkward. So it just makes more sense for the leaders to start with the right foot and the followers to start with the left foot. Okay, so we're gonna try this, show you guys this a couple times to music, and that will be your nightclub two-step basic.